Okay, in order to get to the uh, chem draw valve, we're going to go ahead and have to remove the control head from the unit. We're going to start by removing this 5 16 head screw here that is on the drive shaft, and then the two black screws here that hold this little shelf in. Now we're going to actually remove these two screws here that hold the control valve to the valve body. Now we're just going to go ahead and slide this valve body off and set it aside. Okay, now here's our valve. This is held down by this plate with the three screws. So we're going to go ahead and remove these three screws. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the piston assembly. And unfortunately, your seals and your piston are going to come out with it. Uh, if you're doing this ch uh, for a rebuild, chances are this would be a great time to redo your uh, seal and spacer kit as well. So we'll go ahead and get all these spacers and seals out of here. And take note, the very last spacer in there has these little feet on them. Those need to be oriented. It's pretty, pretty obvious they need to be oriented down in there when you reassemble this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove our valve. This is just press fit in. Pops out. I wanted to make sure everybody was aware there is an O-ring here. There's another O-ring that seats here that's down inside of here. So you want to make sure when you clean all this out to remove and clean that O-ring. I'll go ahead and see if I can pull it out here for you. And then you want to put that O-ring back into that little step before you reinstall it. You can't put the O-ring on here and push it in. You'll deform the O-ring. Okay, and here's this other little O-ring right here. So now what you're going to want to do is get in here and clean all this out. Again, this can all be done without removing the body valve from the, from the cylinder. This all can all be done in place. So go ahead and get in here and clean all this out. If you've got any gunk in there, clean all that out and get all your paths cleaned out. Once you've got everything cleaned, you've got your replacement seals or your cleaned up your O-rings, go ahead and lube those O-rings up and go ahead and slide that guy down in there against that seat. And you just want to use a little screwdriver to make sure you've got that seated down in there correctly. All right, we've got everything cleaned out. Our O-rings placed down in. We'll go ahead and pop our valve back in. Go ahead and put the first spacer down in there that has the feet in it. Make sure it's oriented correctly. And we'll go ahead and put our stem and seal kit back in. Uh, we do have a separate video just on replacing the stem and seal kits, so we'll just here show putting these uh, seals back in. Save the bottom spacer, seal, spacer, seal, they just stack up. Go ahead and slide the piston assembly back in. Make sure we get where you connect on this little lip on the valve right here. We're going to use the three shorter screws. These have the cross hairs on them. So there's three of them. That's an easy way to tell. Go ahead and put those back in. All right, we've got our three screws reinstalled and tightened. We're going to go ahead and install the valve head or the uh, control head back on the valve body and make sure your piston lines up so that little 
white piece right here slides through and it all lines up. Like that. Then we'll go ahead and put the two longer screws in. They have just a slot. These go back into here. And we'll go ahead and replace our piston screw back in. And reinstall our little shelf with the two black screws. Okay, so that's everything connected with the chem draw. Uh, if you are still having a problem with your chem draw, give us a call. Uh, the factory did make uh, a minor, minor improvement on these. This is your cover for your uh, injector that we removed. And if you notice here, the newer models have a slightly larger gap here where the water feeds through. So I suspect maybe in really bad systems sometimes, uh, you know, those might have gotten clogged up. So we can send you a new one of these if you need one. Um, uh, but going through everything here, your system should be able to, uh, the chem draw should be working fine. Okay, thanks.